Well, Him, let's first now move to the world of business, where as the property uh, crises intensify and the economic slows, the, the economy slows, the commodities industry in China takes a beating. Right, and this is something that we've discussed in the past as well. Profits in industries ranging from coal mining to metal manufacturing continue to fall. Take a look at our next report to understand how the country's old economic sectors are now battered. It is problems galore in the dragon's den as China's economic woes show no signs of abating. According to data released by the National Bureau of Statistics on Sunday, the steel sector has been struck the worst, with earnings at Ferrous Metals manufacturers falling 91% during the first seven months of the year. While overall industrial earnings in China fell by 16%, Base metal producers had a 37% reduction and coal miners witnessed a 26% drop. Recent financial results have been discouraging for traditional businesses. The Chinese oil refining giant Sinopec reported a 19% drop in first half net profits. The country's largest coal miner, China Shenhua Energy, reported a 13% drop in net income and predicted more price declines in the second half of the fiscal year. According to a report from the Goldman Sachs Group, green copper consumption in China has been on the rise. However, coal is expected to continue to face challenges. After Beijing ordered a major boost in supplies to promote the reopening of the economy, the price of the fuel that underpins China's industrial activity fell by about a third this year. Fitch Solutions earlier stated that demand has been flat and that a robust comeback from COVID-era limitations has not materialized. Particularly hard hit are energy-intensive businesses like ceramics, glass production and steel foundries. However, the power industry benefits from the decline in the coal price since power producers are once again able to generate a profit margin. According to the statistics agency, industry revenues increased by 51% in the year up to July. According to the company's filing, Shenhua anticipates a higher rate of growth in energy consumption in the second half of the year compared to the first. Jiangzai Copper also expects prices to increase during the second half of the year. As worries about the growth prospects persist, China has made a series of promises to reinvigorate the economic recovery and enhance the business climate. But for now, it is clear that the exponential growth seen over the last few decades may be a thing of the past.